the first thing we're going to do is take off the screen by rotating these little holders. Next we're going to remove the fuse for the fan. Next we'll remove the trim or bezel with a Robertson number two driver. Next we're going to remove the fan with the Phillips head screwdriver. To clip the zip tie holding all the wires together carefully so we have more room to see what's going on here. We're going to be using these Wago connectors since they're really easy to join two wires instead of using wire nuts. We're going to extend the wires a little bit so that we have enough connection since we're not soldering. I have all four wires extended and we should be able to easily insert the fuse insert it, and then clamp it down. You can see it going all the way through with the soldered head going to the end. Mm -hmm. See how nice that is? Mm -hmm. You see the copper on each side knowing that you have a good position that's locked in. This is a DC DC voltage regulator. 9 to 36 volts can go in, but it's keeping it constant at 12 volts out. So the fan should like that since it seems to be voltage sensitive and likes 12 volts. We're going to apply some really strong scotch tape type interlaced Velcro type tape. And then I will peel off the back of one side and apply it here. We're going to put the voltage regulator up in this corner so that when we clip this wire, the voltage coming in from the trailer will be able to reach this on the input side of the regulator. The next step is uh, we've identified where the power is coming in from the trailer and this is where the manufacturer joined the wires using the butt connectors and we're going to clip those off at the connector at this point. We're going to strip these now. That's one. We're going to reinsert, reinsert this fuse momentarily just to check the polarity on the wires coming from the trailer. So we have to be real careful with the polarities here. On this regulator, the red is positive, which it indicates, and the black is negative. Same here on the output, the black is negative and the yellow is positive. But on our trailer, the black is positive, which we just verified with our voltmeter. So what I'm going to do is use a red wire so that it connects to the appropriate positive on the regulator. So you just have to be really careful that you match the polarity so you don't fry your motherboard. Then we're making our wire extensions trailer side, the black to the red, because I know the black on this trailer is positive. We have positive coming from black to red, going into the input on the regulator. 
And we're just going to push that up a little bit and out of the way. This is actually the negative, the white wire. I'm going to push it all the way through on the way go, snap it. So there's our extension. We'll keep that out of the way as well. And we'll just uh, put that negative in all the way to the back. Snap. So now we have our input, positive and negative. We'll be able to tell if what's coming out of here, if it's positive or negative. This should actually be negative coming out of here. Which shows 12 volts. 12 volts is coming out perfectly. I'm going to extend them, so we're going to take the black and also use the black. So black to black here, which we've just determined as negative coming out of the voltage regular because we just used our voltage meter. And the yellow is positive red wire. We'll verify here. We can see copper on both sides. Copper on both. Okay. Now we know on the max fan that the black is actually positive. So we're going to plug in the positive wire into the Wago so it connects it. So we have a positive going to the black and then we know the white is negative so we're going to plug that in to the Wago and now all of our connections are now done. All right. Just pushing them in but we're not quite ready we're going to test it first. So I'm just going to plug it in and see if it works. So the fan is now screwed back in. We had to be very careful tying the zip tying the wires and pushing that them up against the side to make sure that they were out of the way of the parts and the fan. And now it's just a matter of lining up the bez the bezel or the trim. If you did notice the way goes on this side are getting in the way, the wire coming out of the scamp is very short and I didn't extend the wire so the bezel isn't going all the way up so I, what I think I'll do is just trim a little bit of this flashing off so I can push it up so I don't need to try to have to rewire it so we're just going to mark looks like there was already a little cut out in the fan but we're going to just make cut out a little flashing so what Before we put the screen back, we're going to want to clean it. So I'm just going to put it, put some household vinegar, pour it over it. And then I'm going to put a little baking soda on it. Let it suds up. Get it nice and clean. Then we're just going to give it a little rub down. Let's get the rest of the loose dirt off. Now we're just going to use a wet 
microcloth, try to get some of that dirt off it. It's taking it off, but it's pretty sticky. Now we're just gonna put the last piece of the puzzle back. Now we're just gonna put the fan cover back on the holders and the last one and we're done now we have a voltage regulator to ensure that our fan works at 12 volts all the time regardless of the voltage input by the solar which is generally higher